Uh, this is part two in the color theory series of videos I'm doing on how to use color. Um, in the last one, we covered violet, which is probably my favorite color. And today, we're going to tackle another color that I really love, and that's green. Right, so on to green, guys. So, green, as we can see here on the color wheel, we're, when we're looking at green, you know, if we start from pure green, um, our complement color is red. So we can certainly use red and maybe pinky reds in some cases, which would look nice. We've got our lovely violet as part of the triad and we've got orange as the other part of the triad. So again, if you was to use a 60, 30, 10 ratio of this triad, it'll work very well on most models. But also green is one of our are strong colors a pure color well not a pure color actually it's like violet it's a secondary color so this is also made up of mixing equal amounts of blue and yellow so we now have our green plus one two three four five colors there that are going to work very nicely with our green so let's get our green on the palette so this is our green and as you can see this is a very mid-level very neutral beautiful vibrant green so if we take that green and we try and darken it with black we'll see what we start to get so as we come up here first shade is really nice we've got a nice darker green and then we start getting into real black gray greens Colors like this. I've probably overdone the black a bit there. Let's have a little bit more green into that. So, obviously, going darker, but getting more and more desaturated. And we'll do the same with the light side. So, again, we'll start with that green. And we're going to add a little bit of white. And we'll start getting much lighter, paler colors. At this stage, that's quite nice. It's not bad. But we'll see that it starts to really start to desaturate when we're adding the white in. As the more and more white we add, the more color we're losing. So always remember that when you're adding white, you're, you're effectively removing color and just adding you know, a non-color white. As it is, this, this progression is very nice. It's quite pleasing actually through green. Um, certainly one of the better colors to use white in. You know, like I say, it doesn't quite look quite so stark and um, chalky as other colors. And it, it, it starts moving towards a sort of minty sort of green, which, which is nice. It's really nice. But let's get on to the interesting stuff. So, the complement of green. So when we look on the color wheel, the perfect complement to green is red. And as we saw in our last video, when we mix the two, a color with its complement, what we're gonna usually end up is a brown. A brownish sort of tone, a grayish brownish sort of tone. Um, in the case of green, it's quite a, an interesting tone. It's You can sort of vary it to sort of a greeny brown and a reddy brown, and it, it actually works really nicely. So we'll start up here with that. So that's adding red and green to get this sort of brownish tone that we're gonna get from those two colors. Once we've got that tone, as I showed before, that there's so many ways we, we could have different sprouts off of that tone from the green. We could aim, we could add more towards the green, we could add yellow into that, we could add a nice yellow, oranges, you know, it, it's sort of endless possibilities, but we'll, we'll go down the road of adding more red to that. We'll just stick to the red, and then we get this sort of now we're heading more into this sort of burgundy sort of territory. 
And if we now start adding in one of my mixing colors like ice yellow, now we're getting into these really nice sort of more of a plum sort of color again. Slightly different tone to what we had in the violet one. But this is more, when we use that complement color, I'm, I'm sort of finding that we start getting more into nice sort of skin shadow colors. We could start really using this as skin colors and skin shadow colors especially. And all I'm doing here is I'm just adding ice yellow into that mix. And as you can see here, this is getting into a really nice sort of skin color now. For shading on a skin, adding like a desaturated tone would work really nicely. And it, 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 the tone is really lovely, it's really pleasing. And this progression again, doesn't look very green, but there is definitely green in there. So it's, it's gonna harmonize with your, your green color scheme. It's gonna work really nice as an offshoot color next to something that's green. So the other colors we've got, we've got violet and we've got orange. We, we've already sort of covered a bit of violet in a previous video, but we'll, we'll just step through quickly what happens when we start adding a little bit of violet in. So when we start adding this in, the, these are the tones that I really like. This really starts to get interesting now with violet. Um, so we're now getting this again, a darker, richer green which is very nice. Now we add a little bit more in. And the trick here is, it's a bit like the red, it's start, gonna start getting darker and darker. So we'll start adding our ice yellow in now to that color. And I know we've already seen a very similar progression on the purple video. Um, so we're gonna get very similar colors. But this time it's more, I'm doing it more green dominant. So I'm using a lot of our main color and I'm just lightening that up. So effectively with an ice yellow or a pale yellow, I'm adding yellow, but I'm adding a little bit of white in it to get um, a slightly more saturated color. And as you can see, like as we get now into the real highlight values, Again, just a lovely progression of color that I really love. These, these offshoot colors we get are just really exciting. They, they, they really sort of are pleasant on the eye. And, and this is the difference when you're using color. When, you, when you're using whites and blacks, you tend to get this, like I said earlier, a very stark or chalky sort of look, which is not so pleasant. And it's much harder to blend. When you're using more pure colors like this, blending I actually find a lot easier. And it's much nicer to find, and easier to find these in-between tones that make the overall part you're painting look more interesting. So let's carry on. So we've got our green. We're gonna come with our green again, and we're gonna start, we're gonna try the other part of the triad, which is orange. What's gonna happen when we mix green and orange? What sort of color are we going to get here, do you think, guys? So we're now moving here. So we've got, a, again, quite a, if you look at all these different first color greens, we've got this completely different array of greens. This one as well is, now this to me looking more like a woodland forest green. And it's, it's really nice. It's just a beautiful, rich color. Um, so we'll add just even more orange into that. And we're, we're starting to get these really lovely sort of woodland tones. Look at that tone there. It's like a, a greeny brown, but very sort of like woodlandy. So again, we'll come in here, we'll try adding a bit of yellow to this instead of ice yellow this time. And we, we're just sort of trying to judge this as we go. You know, just trying to think what will look good. And again, this is a lovely green. A little bit lighter this time. And we've got this very sort of different sort of branch of colors now. That color there is getting, that's a beautiful color, really lovely. And this is sort of moving 
we've got this green we've created a slightly darker green with the orange and now we're moving into sort of a browny green now we're moving into sort of uh, sort of khaki greeny sort of colors and if we add now our ice yellow in we will definitely start moving into um, more of these sort of khaki tones so we're now getting these more um, khaki whitish tones but they're they're colorful tones you know I can almost when you get in here now we're almost moving into the realms of Zandri dust and Ushabti bone and this this progression here is looking to me like it's heading towards bone colors so if I carry on adding white into that we're definitely going to get a really nice sort of bone color so this color here yeah look at that that's really a beautiful sort of bone color and this progression here is just stunning it's lovely colors you know these colors would just work beautifully when we're painting you know we, we can do so much within this color range and imagine if we had these colors here matched with these colors and then a little bit of this color here these combinations are going to look so good on a model and it's not just so much green so much orange so much violet these are all within a green and we're creating these tones you know that that are just going to look so nice on a model and the, these are the colors when when i see threads on instagram or facebook these are the sort of colors people are saying what color are you using there what what was that color in there how did you get that color and when painters top painters are painting they quite often are not aware of what they're you know precisely using they're mixing colors as they go but th these are the sort of strategies they're using you know they're they're mixing greens with oranges and with yellows and blues and etc and that's where they're getting these you know really lovely different tones so if we now start looking at what what makes up our green okay so again what 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 we're finding with a couple of these colors is when we had violet we had very similar it, it won't be the same for every color but what I really like now is like when we've got green this is made up of blue and yellow and these are exactly the opposites in terms of temperature so blue is certainly the coldest color and yellow is certainly one of the warmest colors if not the warmest if you imagine the color of the sun is yellow we're certainly into a very warm color here so by mixing these colors in we're going to get very very different effects we're going to get a very you know bright warm saturated green and we're going to get a more minty teal cold greeny blue so that also is really exciting it's really interesting how you can because when you add those different tones on the model not only are you going to get color harmony and color you know that really go well together you're going to build contrast in temperature so th this is something that's going to make your mini pop and, th and this is a little trick that a lot of painters use so let's have a look at what happens when we start adding yellow in and I, I think you've probably most people have gone down this path of highlighting green with yellow certainly with goblins and orcs it, it's 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 a really nice color combination so as you can see there we get this super saturated bright green you know it, it's it's beautiful it's a lovely bright green that is and if we just keep adding yellow we just get more and more luminosity that's the word here we're now getting a lot of luminosity painting these colors here if you imagine we're painting something more in the you know cyberpunk neon range these colors are just going to really pop because we're getting really bright highly saturated greens that you just don't see a lot of in real life so the these are very much aiming down that very much the fantasy um 
an unusual range of colors because of their, their brightness and luminosity. So this color here I've just mixed now, this is, we are getting towards this sort of color. So this is very much, this is pistachio, and this is very, almost identical to the color I've just mixed. And that's what you'll find when you're mixing these colors. You'll see colors and say, oh, that, that is pistachio. You know, so that's how they probably mix pistachio. So you, you'll see that more and more when you mix these tones. And what's really nice is when we get to the highlight stage now of this progression, if we actually add in our ice yellow, we just get another really interesting tone off of that. Now, this tone itself is really cool. So what we could do, if we don't want that progression to be too bright, we can actually do a little thing where we add a little bit of yellow to the main green and we'll add ice yellow right now now we start getting a another really interesting range of colors now we're adding heading towards like a pea green and more of a minty green and if we add more ice yellow wow this is just a beautiful color we're now heading more towards a, like i say a, a pea pastel type green and and these sorts of colors they're, they're, they're just different and they're just really exciting colors to work with um, and there you go see that little progression there if we had little bits on the model like that it, it would stand out beautifully it would look absolutely terrific now the other side of what makes up green is blue and, and what I've done today is I've got, I've got two, two, I've put two different blues on there to show you this, um, the different ways you can go. So we'll start off with a light blue. So this is our green and we'll add light blue. And we start getting into, we'll do it here. See now we've got this sort of bluey green color. It's very much a sort of GW type color. I think it's jade green. I can't remember the exact name of it. But you can see these colors as you're mixing. And again, we'll have more blue in. So it's a bit more dominant now, the blue. And now we're getting into these very blue greens. You know, a sort of turquoise, jade, blue green sort of thing. Let's just get a little bit more of my ice yellow on there. And we'll carry on this progression. So how are you liking these videos, guys? Tell me, tell me in the comments below. Are you finding this interesting, exciting? Well, what do you think? I, I love making these videos. They're, they're just so cool. And I, I got such a lot of good response from the first one. The, it, it's so nice to see you guys getting something out of this. Now look at this. This is this is a beaut this is what I'd call a perfect blue green. This color here, which I love. I love using that type of color. It's so interesting. And again, we can just I'm um, just add in more and more ice yellow. Well, I could have used pale yellow, but now we're getting to these beautiful tones. Look at that. That that's just so so rich. It's so it, it, it'll pop on your miniature this will pop it'll really stand out as this just beautiful vibrant blue green and yeah that progression there is just beautiful absolutely beautiful I love that color I, lo I love all these colors and, and as you can see this is this is what strikes me with when we explore color like this with basically just four or five colors here and we're starting from this one color and we've en we've st we've we've ended up with a burgundy type plum type run here. We've ended up with brownish tones that we can mix here. We've got more neutral sort of pea whitish greens here. We've got luminous bright yellowy greens. Now we've got these beautiful blue toned greens, and and they're all working really nice. They they just 
it just looks so gorgeous together. So we'll now look at what we need to do now is we're, we're adding a dark blue, or well, medium blue, but darker. So again, this is green and blue. And here you see this, this tone is just gorgeous. That's, that's a color I, I used to use this years ago for cobalt used to be able to buy this color and it's just just a beautiful color so let's try this time we'll now start adding yellow in we'll add yellow first and let's see what we get now we've got a nice rich green now we'll add a little bit more of that blue and we'll add ice yellow so we're adding we're up in the value but we're adding a little bit of blue Again, we, we're sort of getting similar tones to up here, but it's slightly different. So what, what can we do to change it? So we don't want the same progression. So let's look at one of our other colors. Ah, oh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Now we're getting into some very sort of different colors. Now look at this look. So this is when we add a little bit of orange, one of our other complementing colors into that progression and now we're getting into some very different types of color here and we maybe add a little bit of luminosity to that with a little bit of yellow and we'll add a little bit of our ice yellow and there we go again just a very different sort of progression of color and um, you know one of the things like I did there guys is don't be afraid to experiment right so if if we've got our green say you know like we just did there it is it's very nice to say you know if we're going down a certain path say we're adding our purple into that green all right which is great we're getting this color here which I think is what we did up, uh, I can't remember which one now, uh, looks like this one actually. Now that on itself, that's just a really nice start of a color, it's very rich, it's got almost equal amounts green and violet, but don't be afraid now to say, well okay, let's, let's try adding some orange in. Where does this go with orange? What tone do we get? And again, we're getting more brownie tones now. Now we'll add in some yellow perhaps. What does that do? Ah. Now we're getting more German uniform type, camo type greens. And again, what if we add a little bit of blue into that? Ah, yeah, that's quite nice. So now we're getting very different greens. And again, if we go in with our ice yellow, sort of more of a highlight color to these. Again, we, we're just building different tones. And all we're really having to do here is just lay out our colors. All I've done really here is, is laid out the colors, green, orange, red, violet, blue, and yellow. Um, but mixing and matching those colors from our one green, you know, we're, we're getting some amazingly good tones. You know, it's really working really nicely. And, you know, as in the violet video I did before, like I said, violet is probably my favorite color to work with. But green is a very close second, I think. And this is why, you know, this array of colors and tones can really make your miniatures stand out. And, and like I said, I'm, I'm demonstrating this on the miniature I'm painting at the moment that you can paint a whole miniature with this one color. You know, just by using this green, like I said, you can paint elements in this really nice blue green. You can paint these browner greens. You can go on the reddish greens. We can even mix that up to like bone colors here. And I'm sure if we experimented through the black line here, we'd get some really nice darker colors. And like I said, you know, you've got reds, yellows, whitish colors, blue colors, all of these colors you can get that are harmonizing with our original green. You know, so 
this, this area of exploration can really open your eyes to you know painting a great color scheme and, and this is one of um, my students and my my twitch audience you know one of the most common questions I get asked is well how do you build a color scheme what colors go with this color what color go with that color? how how do I build a whole color scheme around you know this skin or whatever and you know most of the time if, if you guys ever watch me paint I I start painting with very little plan and usually I'm focusing on one color I'll start a skin color and I'll think I want this to have you know maybe a, a warm skin tone which is oranges and yellows you know orange browns and then I'll start looking at within those colors and go well actually I can I can start moving into purple here because purple works perfectly with the yellow and on the other side of this miniature maybe I can move into blues because it's more orangey and the blue will complement that and then with elements around the model I'm looking at well this is more the purple side of the model or you know the shadowy side what's going to work with purple yellow and I'm building color schemes up like that so it's a very interesting way um, to build your color schemes you know thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it